And honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it like I, I honestly miss my ex. Trying to stack it, man, and get out of money, I can't. Moving like a one man army, just me and my fans. Never had a lot in my circle, just me and my plans. Sorry in advance if it's sound cocky and arrogant, but honestly, when I get What's going on, YouTube? Um, this video is gonna be more personal. Um, honestly, I'm literally just waking up, crying out of bed to do this. I, I haven't even left my room yet. I just threw on my hat. Um, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna just talk about, talk about finding love and what it means to change as a man and as a person. Um, I truly do love her. Um, and this world we live in is, is so dark and toxic where you know someone saying that it, it's labeled as a simp but i mean whatever whatever y'all want to call it you can call it but i'm gonna just be straight up and for the first time ever I, i'm gonna be very vulnerable in the video and uh talk about my experiences because honestly guys i want to make sure none of you ever go through um what i'm going through i wouldn't wish this on my best enemy so it sucks when you truly love a person and, um, you know, you can't really do anything about it at the, at the time. And, and, the, and the thing that hurts me the most is knowing that, uh, I hurt her and I disappointed her and, um, you know, trying to regain someone's trust and, and not being able to, to get it. But, um, <clears throat> Honestly, I'm just going to jump right into it. So, y'all buckle up and get ready for, for a little story time, a little self-improvement video. But, uh, but yeah, um, I feel like I finally found someone that I'm in love with. And, like, obviously I've had relationships before in the past. Um... Well, for me, when I say I'm in love, it's it's more of a mutual feeling, and it's a it's a deeper connection than anything I've ever felt before. Um, damn, this video ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, so, gentlemen, listen up, man. If you first of all, first advice I want to give: if you truly love someone, love them and love hard. Do not be afraid. Of what the world has to think do not be afraid of what your friends had to think um do not be scared to be vulnerable and show your emotions because at the end of the day that will only come and bite you in the ass and you'll end up losing the person you love anyways so in my particular situation i met this girl and from the jump i had very strong feelings for her um <clears throat> I was always afraid to give too much of myself based on, I guess, past situations and uh, relationships I've been in. So um, I would tend to guard myself even while pursuing someone and um, being in a relationship. Worst thing, worst thing you can ever do, believe me. But, um,. Yeah, I mean, something about this girl just took me by surprise, took me by storm. I wasn't looking for nothing. I wasn't even supposed to get into another relationship. But, um, you know, shit happens. And I honestly think she's the most amazing woman I've ever met. So, I, I fell in love real quick. But, um, bottom line is my actions didn't meet that because i was trying to protect my heart at the same time while trying to give it to her I'm trying to say guys is if you're gonna open up your heart just open up all the way be be very vulnerable um something that she taught me is be honest honesty is a huge thing um woman love honesty you can't go wrong with being honest like you can't you know if you tell someone it is what it is from the jump and if you're always honest with them, that's that will lead to the best outcome. Do not try to shy away from things or do little white lies here and there because ultimately that will just lead you down a rabbit hole of lies in a spiral out of control. 
and your relationship is not going to be built on a proper foundation just the moral of the story is do not be afraid to love do not let this toxic world get to your mind there's no such thing as being a simp there's no such thing as uh, being a lover man there's no such thing as all this shit at the end of the day you're just being yourself you're living your life um you know and if that's who you are as a person then by all means be that person if you're not that as a person it's okay you know what i mean but just be cautious of where you channel your energy who you give your energy to and all this stuff because at the end of the day what are we living for our future and if you're not preparing yourself for your future then what's going on you know what i mean you're just living day to day um but when you find someone you want to share share that with it's the most special thing and it's something that i don't think anyone should take for granted so um me personally i found someone that i would share my life with that i'm in love with you know whether or not she feels the same is not really up to me but at the end of the day whatever happens in my situation is something i have to be okay with but i just want to give you guys that advice um you know so hopefully you guys don't make the same mistakes i did so a open up b be vulnerable c always be honest um, like always, like no little white lies because it's going to spiral out of control. Um, no matter how scared you are to, to be truthful with that person, you have to be. You know, that's one thing I learned. Um, because for me personally, I was scared of her reaction a lot of the time. And then I would like bend the truth a little bit, but then I find myself spiraling out of control. And then later on, you know, the truth comes out and it's, it's just a whole mess. But no matter how scared you are to tell the truth, do it and it's going to benefit you and your <clears throat> sorry it's going to benefit you and your relationship in the long run so thank me later for that in the comment section you know what i mean and um hit subscribe feels like if i was more in the moment back then and if i did experience certain things i would have been more prepared for when i found this woman that i'm in love with but um that wasn't the case and ultimately yeah, I was just never the dating type and to put myself out there and, and be vulnerable um, for anybody. Where I am now, I finally experienced that and I'm learning about it a lot. One thing I truly learned is if you're trying to change who you are as a person, um, the most important thing is to identify which areas in your life you want to change. You cannot just say, hey, I'm going to change. I'm going to change who I am tomorrow because it, what does that look like what does changing look like you know um for me a big thing that helped me change my mindset in a lot of ways is self-reflection so um i started going on like two hour walks and i would talk to my cousin and and really just open up with someone and learning to be vulnerable um even though it was with my cousin it had helped me realize things about myself that i never realized before because talking out loud and hearing yourself allows you to put yourself in a different perspective and someone else's point of view and i feel like that's when i truly understood and learned things about myself that even my ex used to tell me but when she would say it at the time i would be like you know how can someone tell tell me about myself it's like you don't understand what's going on in my head but when you really do put yourself in a in someone else's shoes in in a different perspective or when you talk about things out loud and then you self-reflect you really do get a chance to um to see yourself in a different light and really understand what other people are trying to tell you because you will never truly understand what someone's trying to say about you until you actually take the time to like sit down with it process it and have that that moment of self-reflect you know um a, another great thing you could do is record yourself speaking to someone you know it's kind of like therapy when they, when you go if you go to a session or if you guys see it on tv or whatever like i'm not saying really tapping into your to your conscious mind and trying to understand why you are the way you are and why you do the things you do i believe is one of the only ways to truly change who you are as a person where i am right now with my ex is I, i'm in love with her like i i'm I'm honest to God, like, in love with this woman, and there's nothing I would want more than to reconcile and, and find a way to, to be with her. 
um right now she obviously doesn't trust me and you know that that kills me it really hurts but <clears throat> you know decisions i've made in my past have led her to that point where she doesn't trust me but um i'm i'm really opening up with her i'm really being vulnerable and at this point in my life all i want is to build my relationship with god build some type of business that i could have to fall back on and to to be with that woman um all i know is i'm not gonna change how i treat her and how i and, and how i feel about her is not gonna change because at the end of the day um in a situation like this y'all could go on youtube you could type in a bunch of stuff but what i realized is no one's advice is going to be better than your own i mean you could take little pieces from what people say and try to apply it but no one's advice is going to be better than your own why do i say this because at the end of the day people can only give advice based on their life experience so if you're watching a video on like on like your ex or like how to get your ex back or whatever type of video or like how to become a better person they can only tell you based on what they experienced but we can't live through other people's experiences is what i'm trying to say at the end of the day it comes to a point where you have to follow your heart and my heart i know where my heart lies and what i truly want with this woman so for me, it was like I, I was watching a bunch of videos trying to figure out and piece things together. By the end of the day, I got to follow my heart. And I chose to do that. And honestly, it led me to make new memories with her. And if I didn't do that, her and I wouldn't even be speaking right now. So um, I'm grateful that I had that realization and I'm able to still make new memories with her and see her and still build on our connection to some extent. But ultimately it came from me making that decision to follow my heart because i couldn't i was looking at it like yo i can't live through other people's experience because a lot of the a lot of things people were telling me or the, the advice out there was not even to talk to her and i'm like and i'm like bro this is the first time i've been in love this is, this is like the first person i truly love like how can i how can i not talk to this to this woman right how can i just walk away from that um and yeah and i was just like i can't i can't do that like i have to fight for her i have to fight for this connection because i feel like a lot of times people don't do that in this world and then you know if you get advice from someone older they always have some story or something to say about the one that got away and i didn't want to look back in 15 years and still be thinking about this this woman and and think to myself she's the one that got away all because my pride my ego and the advice i took told me not to talk to her which led to us falling out of love so i decided to open up my heart to fight for this woman and constantly be there for her and honestly it's been one of the best decisions of my life be giving my time and my energy away um especially knowing that um i'm still that i that i'm in love and this, this is the woman i want to be with like it's different it's such a different feeling than i've ever felt and it's just something i know in my heart yo sorry guys i feel so oh my god like it's an emotional video but it's just something in my heart that i know i'm i'm not gonna walk away from it's a connection that i'm truly gonna fight for and um ultimately you know the decision will be up to her but um flat out i'm gonna say it. i'm like i'm i'm in love with my ex you know it is what it is um but yeah that's where we're at now um i'm gonna continue to to fight for her i hope to god that one day we do get back and you know hopefully i'll update you guys on, on a video or something but you know for the first time in my life i'm doing i'm doing things that i never even thought i'll do i'm like doing a bunch of romantic shit planning dates doing everything like 
Love, love is a crazy thing. But what I want to say to you, gentlemen out there, is you know, um, if you have someone you love, love hard. You know, no regrets. Love hard. Open up your heart. Truly be vulnerable. Um, make no mistakes. And honesty is a is a huge thing, which is what she taught me, and I'm working on every single day. You know, but ultimately, this person is the first person I think about. The last person I speak to. Um. And to me, overall, she's just an amazing soul. Like, she is the perfect person um, that you ever meet. And, <clears throat> and yeah, I just want to hopefully eventually along the lines I can show her through my actions that, um, you know, what I say is true. And, and I'm not the same person I was when we were together, you know. Um I know a lot of people are going to put a timestamp on that. Like, oh, someone can't change so quickly. But honest to God, when you identify what it is you're changing about yourself, what it is you need to change. And if you, like, I don't want to hear that shit. If you haven't done what I've done to change, don't don't judge. If you haven't done three-hour walks every single day for like two months and really self-reflect and record your conversations and, and take notes of what you're saying and, you know, um, really jot down stuff and 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 write a novel and um all types of different therapeutic stuff and really help you to realize um who you want to be what aligns with your morals what even caused you to be this way like if you haven't done all this shit i i just don't want to hear it like i don't want to hear it um people gonna say what they want to say people gonna think what they want to think but at the end of the day um you guys know yourself best Right, and if you decide you truly want to change, I believe you can, and I don't believe there's any time limit on that, on how long it takes a person to change. Um, it is gonna be a challenge, of course. Um, you know, you're gonna see glimpse of your old ways, but I don't know if you guys are religious, but if you are, then pray on it too. Um, you know, keep God in mind, build your relationship with the Lord. Have something, even if you don't believe in God, try to find something you believe in. Whether that's science, whether that's the law of attraction, whether that's manifestation, have something you believe in. Keep your faith in that. And um, keep that around while at the same time trying to better yourself. That will help you stay on task and stay focused. And do not give your energy to people. Um, it's gonna be, It's just going to drain you. It's going to lead you away from your goals. Um, focus on you and be there for that person that you love. And, um, honestly, I think that's the best thing you could do. But all in all, just follow your guys' heart. Do not, do not even go and be searching for a bunch of videos. Matter of fact, get, get off this video. You know what I mean? Take what you want. Take the little pieces. But at the end of the day, it's your decision. Follow your heart. And if you feel like you're truly in love with this person, then fight for that connection. But you got to be real with yourself, too. And you got to ask yourself, are you actually in love with them? Because a lot of people, um, when they get out of relationships, they'll be like, oh, my God, I love this person. But but that's not the case. You can't decide you love them after the relationship's done, which is not the case for me at all. I know for a fact I've been in love with this woman for a very long time, you know, before we even even dated. My actions just didn't meet up to that because of fear for certain things that I'm not going to get into. But just because of fear and also because of things that happened to me in my past that led me to try to protect my heart. But um, where I am now and through all the changing I've done and stuff, I've already, I have removed all that. And I'm telling you guys, you will even feel different. You know, the best thing, matter of fact, the best thing you could do. What made me start feeling different um, is ground yourself. If you guys don't believe in God or whatever, ground yourself with the universe. Like, literally go outside, take your socks off. It's kind of cold nowadays, but take your socks off, let your feet touch the earth, and speak to the universe. Speak to the universe, sorry. Or even place your hand on a tree and exchange your energy with the universe and, and set your purest intention, right? Set your purest intention and the universe will give back to you. Alright, so I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff, but trust me when I say it. Like, trust.
trust me set your purest intention into the world give up things and you will receive so what i mean by that is tell the universe tell god what you want truly set your purest intention and also sacrifice things you're gonna have to sacrifice something and the rewards will be insane like again i'm so happy that you know i i I did this and 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 chose to change and now i'm able to make new memories with this woman i'm in love with so i highly recommend that you guys open up your heart stop being scared stop feeding into this this messed up world like this world is demonic you know it teaches us that temptation is cool and and um you know the fast life is cool and all this shit it's shit, it's not cool bro it's not the, the like what really matters in life you have to ask yourself that and, and the thing that matters is love you know whether that's friendships or that's you know your family and it can also fall into relationships but all three of those is at the end of the day it's love and that's what truly matters because as humans we at the end of the day i don't care what anyone says at the end of the day we all want companionship right that's how we're made at the end of the day what's supposed to happen a man's supposed to find a woman they have a family right and then you guys continue your legacy but we all want companionship and love at the end of the day so it's time for y'all to wake up decide what's truly important to you you know and um go out there follow your heart and set your purest intentions the universe will know what you desire you know we're all made up of energy exchange energy with the universe let it know what's truly important to you and at the end of the day at the end of the day have some faith man just just have some faith you know same way i do for this amazing woman i'm in love with um it's crazy because no matter how much time i spend with her i can't wait to see her next every single time um even right now i was just thinking about when's the next time i'm gonna see her but <clears throat> yeah i literally just woke up as i said i climbed out of bed i threw my hat on i want to make this video for y'all so sorry if my voice sounds raspy or deep but yo i'm a believer in love look you know, you know what i mean true love is something i'm, I'm a believer of, of love and I think I found it with this. I think I found it with this one, man. I want to, anyways, I don't want the video to be too long. Oh, shit, it's at 23 minutes. What a coincidence. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I really want to to touch on that. I hope you guys do find your love. If you have any questions, please jump in the comment section. And I will hopefully be making an updated video. By the end of the day, I'm in love and I got things I got to figure out. So, peace out. Um... You know, she probably gonna be waking up soon anyway, so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like be there and talk to her soon, cause that's what I wanna do. So, anyways, peace out. Jump in the comment section, like, comment, subscribe. Daily videos. Um, it's gonna be reaction videos. It's gonna be self improvement videos, and me just genuinely giving you guys advice on stuff that I'm going through. You know, so yeah, subscribe.